In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to begin to customize the Adorage effect when you use it in your effects room. It's also available for use in the transition room. And in this case, we're going to focus on the mixing options in the Adorage effect. It's a complicated program, so we'll go through it one step at a time. So in order to take this clip, which I have, of this couple on the beach, I'm going to go ahead and uh, with it in track number one, I'll click on my effects uh, icon at the left, or I can press the F4 key. I'll take my Adorage filter and drag it down to the effects track. I could also simply drop it on top of my clip here. And with it it's selected, I'll click on Modify. And then I need to click on the standalone effect button in the upper left. Now this will give me a, a screen that gives me all the Adorage effects loaded in my system. And then it gives me the process over here. We have video A and video B. These two are useful mainly when you're using it as a transition. And we will have other tutorials related to that. Right now we're simply using it as an effect. So we're going to begin one of two lessons focusing on the mixer. But in order to do that, I need to select an effect. I can do that one of two ways. I can go through the menu structure here and click on hearts and it will give me all the effects available. And if I click on any one of these, I'll see it in my preview screen. Or I can simply use the right arrow and it will cycle through the various effects that I have available. You notice the green icon is on top of the appropriate effect. So what I'd like to do now, let's just go with Hard So One, make it simple. And then we're going to click on the mixer. By the way, if you want to uh, uh, reset it to no effect, you simply click the button down here. Or if you want to undo any changes you've made to an effect you selected, this button will do that. So you have a nice way of going back if you want. I'll click on Mixer here. And now I have another menu pop up. It, it looks like the one we had a moment ago because I have Video A, Video B, Mixer Smoke, and Overlay, the same items I have here. We're going to focus on the Mixer. And it's so complicated, we'll spend a little bit of time here in some lessons. So the first lesson, we're going to look at the properties of our mask. We have a preview screen in the upper right, the mask properties in the upper left, border controls in the lower left, and then we have starting and ending points of the mask and of the fader in the lower right. Uh, these are much like what we would call keyframes in CyberLink PowerDirector. So what I want to do right now is look at the properties of the mask. When I click on the button in the screen behind this for 01, this is the image it loaded. And if I want to use a different mask, I can click on the folder here and do Select File. And here are some of the others in that same subdirectory that came loaded in my copy of um, Adorage. So we're not going to uh, go into that depth in this particular lesson. There's some other things I can control. One is I can invert the graphic. So if I click on the box here, you'll notice the difference that the colors are basically reversed just for the mask itself. Now this mask is called an alpha file. And whenever you have an alpha file, you have these two controls activated. If your mask does not contain an alpha file, then these two will be grayed out, the fader controls. We'll go back to the normal. Another box you have is called priming. And when you click on that, I'm not sure exactly how it does what it does, but this is what you see here. You see a, uh, a background start out with the border color, and then the mask comes in and goes away as normal. Another thing I'd like to uh, introduce you to in this tutorial is how you can control the motion of your mask. Uh, this is a very nice control. I'll click on the motion button and I have yet a third screen pop up. Uh, again, it gives me the name of the file that I'm controlling and it gives me some things I can do to change the motion. I can change the rotation here. Uh, it can be horizontal or vertical scaling or horizontal or vertical uh, displacement or corners. Under each of these we have several kinds. Right now I'm not seeing a lot of difference in these. Uh, and you have other settings for oscillation, suppression. We're not going to go into those. Uh, you can experiment with your own. 
Um, but the other thing that I'd like to focus on, not is on this dynamic set of controls, but on the starting and ending position rotation. Here we're in the familiar territory because this works like keyframes in PowerDirector. Notice when I click on starting position here in this tab, the starting position's in the center. And notice the size is set to zero. Let me increase it to 22% horizontally and or 20% and the same vertically. Okay, now you notice it's not starting from nothing, it's starting from something. And so that's what the starting position does. Let's go to ending position. It ends full screen. And so we're going to, let's change the size at the ending position. We'll go down to 70% and 70%. Let's change the ending position. Horizontally, we're going to move it to the left. Okay, and then we click on OK. And now, when we look at it, it's not quite so big, and it moves to the left. All of these are related to the properties of the mask. You can also do a little bit with rotation. Let's take the rotation slider and give it a 6% positive rotation. Um, and let's go to the ending position and we'll give it a 12% rotation. Click on OK. And now as we look at it here, we've been able to change it a little bit. Notice the, uh, the, the slight motion as it goes up and back. We can also adjust in the upper left corner the border sharpness. If I go to the left, it's more transparent. To the right, it's more opaque or solid colors. All of this is just adjusting the way the mask looks without using keyframing, but something very similar here in my Adorage controls under Mixer. So those are some of the ways that you can uh, control that the actual preset mask that you have here. In the next lesson, we'll look at the other parts of the Mixer screen as we learn to customize the Adorage mask when we're using it as an effect.